Hello my beautiful pointful people, my name is Julia and this is Maikans and today we will be repotting. This is one of the most amazing plants that you will ever see. If you never saw him in person, he has these beautiful hairy leaves and they came in this amazing variety of colors. I don't know how to even describe it but it all depends how much of light he gets and what place in your house he has. He will give you a bunch of beautiful colors on his leaves. I'm sure that you can see them properly, but it's just beautiful. It's like autumn in plant and autumn is my favorite season. So that's my favorite plant, I could say. It has from green to red to brown to yellow I really cannot describe how amazing this is and I cut his vines not so long ago and propagated them and I got a bunch of new beautiful beautiful roots on them so he is ready so I decided while I'm doing that I will give him a new pot I will plant him in this. This is much larger pot, but after this I will be in peace with him for some time. I won't report him for a few years maybe. So that will be it, I guess. And yeah, this pot is not that beautiful. I just planted cuttings. I got cuttings from an amazing lady, actually she gifted a few cuttings to me and I grew all this from that and now when I have all these new cuttings also I think I'm set for this plant I think that will be enough for him to create beautiful beautiful bushy top and we will see maybe in five or ten years I will cut him again and propagate but I think for some time now he will be in peace and I will use just basic potting mix I used that before so I noticed that he likes it and that's why I'm doing it again why to change something that works so yeah I decided to replace a pot for him because I, while I'm messing with, with roots you can't plant these cuttings to this pot without messing any roots so while I'm doing that I decided to just give him new pot more beautiful one and just to have some time <laughs> without touching him again so let's see how we will do that because I have few small cuttings here from the last time when I done that and they are still babies so oh, oh, oh how long I didn't look to the bottom of this pot oh my I'm not sure if you can see but there are a bunch of roots on the bottom Okay, I guess it was really a time for reporting. <laughs> now I'm happy that I decided to do that. I was afraid that he's not ready for reporting still because he looks so small still. But now, yeah, yeah, he's definitely ready. Roots are coming from the bottom, so that's most certain sign that you need to report your plan. Oh my, he's holding on so much. I will mess all this up. I didn't want to do it like that. I wanted to just transfer him without messing any roots, but I can't pull him out, so I guess I will need to just make a mess. <laughs> we will see. 
how that will go. So, just a little bit more. I expect so much out of this plane because, like I said, it's my favorite trailing plants, trailing plant, and just because of these colors that he has. And I noticed that he is really delicate. If you touch him too much or if you push him when you water him or something, these leaves are so prone to damage. So he damage. You can damage these leaves so easily. So I try to be extremely careful, but it happens and that's why I decided not to report him for a long time after this just to give him a chance to create beautiful undamaged leaves and here it is gorgeous bunch of roots and they are beautiful white and healthy I'm really really happy with this gorgeous let me now see how i will place him in this new pot his new home yeah just like this i will try to wiggle these wines in a way that i will like for him to grow in the future so and like I say, said I will try and be extra careful with this because these leaves are so 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 delicate look at this new growth point gorgeous I think yeah like so let me just Re rearrange this and we are done and now let me show you how beautiful roots this new cuttings had I have one leaf of Peperomia cooperata here I got this yesterday so I just shot this leaf in this I will put him back after oh 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 yeah, just beautiful. I'm so excited about this. I will have a bunch of new leaves and new vines and wow, just wow. <laughs> I was hesitant to do so, to cut him, but now I'm happy that I did because it will all worth of trying I guess because this plant will look much more beautiful if he has a bunch of wines and not just few as I had in start so yeah that's the way you should do it for these trailing plants as much wines as you can get out of it the plant looks more beautiful so Look at this, gorgeous, one leaf, one node and beautiful root that will create new wine. Plants are just amazing. <laughs> and this is tricky because I imagine how it will grow so I want to place them just perfectly for the future here I have small wine already I didn't want to separate each node so I just left him like so it will also be beautiful and this one I will put here Let me see how much I have here to 
three more. Gorgeous. Again, one node and you get a new wine out of this. I will put this one here in the front. And the last one, again, gorgeous. I will place him somewhere, I'm not sure where, because I would like to put him in center, but I don't want to mess with this old, older cuttings that are already growing, so I will just place him on the side. And now, let's fill this out with soil and we are done really exciting i was waiting to do this for i think a month i think that's how long it took to for these cuttings to give me roots and now i'm so excited because this plant can, can start to grow so i hope it will and Till the autumn I will get beautiful bushy plant. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't think that I will repot that much in June and July. We will see. But I don't think that I have much plants to left that needs to be reported. I think that I've done almost all of them so maybe i will film some collections or something like that i want to do that for such a long time and i always had something to report so i wanted to film that and yeah i don't have much videos about my collections so maybe time will come soon and I will do that and some people ask me to do how to say it to film all of my plans my whole collection so maybe I will do that also I was avoiding that because I was never pleased where I put my plans I always think that it could be better and yeah that's why for some of them i still didn't found perfect place but we will see if i will do it after all until my plant collection <laughs> and just shake it a little bit i will water this right away as i usually do after reporting and that would be all. It's ready to grow. I will put it on my east facing window. I recently put this Mikan's there. He was living here beside me on this shelf and I noticed that he has small small leaves so that's usually a sign that plant needs more light so I decided to put it on east facing window and that window is right be behind my phone behind my camera so he's going back to that window again and we will see if I will get some larger leaves in time because for now he still produce small tiny leaves and now he had he has new nutrients and better light conditions so we will see and it's done i think it's gorgeous i think that this reddish and brownish parts really pop up in this pot because pot is so green and yeah for me it looks beautiful so we will see how it will grow 
And that was all. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.